Hey everybody, Andy from Tennis Euphoria bringing you my review of the Technofiber T-Flight Isoflex 315. So I've been positively distracted by this racket. I was meant to be reviewing the Aero 98 and uh, apologies that is coming but I um, helped someone warm up before a hit, was hanging around at a club, uh, pulled this out of my bag, used it and have been distracted because it's quite interesting and I uh, chose to adopt this instead for a couple of weeks and uh, use it. I tend to try and get at least five hits in, in with a racket. I adopt them, review them, move on, do something else, don't play competitively anymore so I'm able to do that um, and I've had enough time with it to bring you my thoughts. Um, I'm a fan of the T-Fight line, um, they've been evolving I guess, they've generally been getting stiffer, um, they have some interesting technology and I think everyone would generally agree that Technofiber are doing a good job at um, really looking to compete with the big players in the tennis racket marketplace. This 315 is a 315 gram static weight, 324 target swing weight, fairly stiff, 69 stiffness rating version of the T-Fight, which is ultimately a control line. You have Dynaclaw in the layup, something called Isoflex, um, which I think softens that 69 feel, RS section, which combines an elliptical and box beam, and it's got some nice um, attributes, stringer-friendly grommets. Uh, do be aware of butt caps um, and grip with Technofiber rackets because um, they're not to everybody's taste and um, they don't have the butt cap that you can take off to inject um, silicone so if you want to make a racket a little bit more head light then it's tricky um, apart from a leather grip and lead under grips um, you can't use um, silicone or putty or blue tack or something in their handles so a minor thing to be aware of and I have found that it's a little bit marmite in terms of their um, grip shape some people love it some people um, hate it I actually quite like it I find that I don't get as much um, uh, sort of blistering and calluses um, mine was actually um, underweight by three grams and that transcended through to a swing weight which was really really low strung with a razor code um, 17 gauge at 52 pounds I was only at a 308 swing weight next to that 324 um, but I have to say um, very very surprising even at that low swing weight the racket was pretty solid and pretty stable and I didn't get any clips of the doubles that I played with it. I played some club doubles for one of my clubs with it. Was actually a bit nervous about playing that game because I was I was aware of the swing weight being quite light. I was worried about how my serve would, would go and I also was a little bit worried about net play. But I have to say it was for this swing weight remarkably stable. And obviously we do have something which is has got a little bit more mass. Um, the other thing that's really noticeable with the frame is it is quite fast through the air got a 22.5 millimeter constant beam um, and it's pretty rapid through the air and it almost makes a sort of whizzing sound which I, I really like actually I um, also find the the racket gives you um, uh, lots of control much like the 305 even though that one has a denser string pattern you get a little bit more lift a little bit more insurance over the net with this frame but you still retain um, a lot of the control that's on offer um, so for me um, kind of reluctantly because I think that 305 is a really good frame too I would certainly choose this over the 305 I think despite the 315 uh, static weight which might put some people off and it's counterintuitive but in uh, this instance the heavier of the lines is actually um, easier to use and more people will be able to access it I think so um, as my sort of play testing was developing uh, this word just kept on coming into my my head drive 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 um, and i think that's quite an interesting um, uh, aspect of the racket you really feel that you can drive through the ball with quite a lot of confidence with this frame um, the stability that it offers um, is great it has quite a lot of plow and, and again i was sort of couldn't believe really that the swing weight was so low and um, i'm going to customize it up take that swing weight up to the 320s because I think you'd have then you know an absolute beast um, in terms of who this racket is for then um, I tried to demonstrate um, in these clips or this sort of short game who it's for this is a brilliant attackers frame it's a good all-court frame uh, great on serve um, lots of precision 
whippy, fast through the air, but stable. You can really um, play your one twos uh, with confidence. It's got enough mass to hit a big, uh, big serve. You can also hit your targets. Um, so if you're an aggressive player, all court player likes coming into the net, I think you'll get on really well with this frame. That said, if you are somebody who likes to play um, creatively from the baseline too and coming on occasion, this is also um, a really, really good frame. Um, so as you're probably um, guessing, this is a really good review for me. I think this is um, an excellent frame. I was disappointed with that um, swing weight, um, but that's you know relatively easily improved with um, you know small bit of lead tape, and um, and I don't feel I need to sort of drastically improve stability. It's just about getting a bit more plow and taking it up to what its potential can be. Um, so big thumbs up for me. D definitely give this one a try. People like pro staff users, um, pure strike users, anyone who's looking at radicals should definitely look at this frame. Don't be put off by the 315. Um, it's, it's much faster through the air than you'd expect. Um, so excellent racket. I definitely could play with this if I was a competing player. This would be high on my shortlist to be uh, my racket um, of choice. Hope that was of helpful and of interest. Please subscribe to the channel because that will, as I say, motivate me to make more of these and see you in the next one.